Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I am coming to you with really an overview, not so much of a review, uh, and the knife we're looking at here today is the Zero Tolerance uh, ZT0801. Uh, it's a to Todd Rexford design, um, and again, I'm not really going to do a review. This, this knife has been out for quite a while so I don't think it's really necessary. There's a ton of reviews out there. This is a really popular knife. Uh, <clears throat> and I, again, it's been out for a while. The only reason I picked this up is I saw a video that Jim Skelton did uh, about a month or so ago. I think he did it in January, uh, where he uh, had Will Moon uh, do some modification to this. Uh, the modifications were uh, all the black hardware that you see, uh, the clip, the pivot, uh, the screws, uh, the uh, PVD coating on that was, was removed and, and a satin finish was applied to the hardware as well as a satin finish was applied to the flats that you see on the titanium uh, scales here. Uh, and there was some blue anodization done uh, as well that kind of shows up in the grooves area uh, and around the perimeter. Uh, which looked really nice. Uh, I was pretty impressed with that, and and uh, uh, you know I I looked in, into the cost, and it was pretty reasonable. The knife isn't terribly expensive because you can you can pretty, pick it up pretty inexpensively, um, and then the the work to uh, to customize it was inexpensive as well. Uh, now, <clears throat> again, by the time uh, it was probably a, the video had been out a month uh, before I kind of got around to looking into it, and Will Moon stopped providing the service for the ZT0801 to perform the modifications. Uh, so what was I going to do? I bought one specifically to have the modifications done. Uh, so I found another guy on Blade Forums uh, to do the work, and I'm not going to say who it is right now, just in case I'm not particularly happy with the work. I anticipate I will be. He's pretty popular. Uh, but uh, I'm going to send the knife to him and, and have him do the, the modifications, and I'll, I'll probably do a part two to this video once I get it back. But uh, uh, I have been carrying this for a couple, three weeks, and i got to say I do like the knife a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, the... Uh, uh, I do like flippers. I've been buying a lot of flippers lately. That's kind of a, a hot trend for a lot of folks these days. And uh, uh, so I like that it's a flipper. It's very smooth. Uh, it's got the Kershaw ZT uh, KVT bearing system in it. So it's nice and smooth. Uh, it's not too heavy. Uh, again, check out uh, my full review on Through My Lens for all the stats and all the nitty-gritty details that uh, knife enthusiasts like to see, uh, weight, you know, length and everything, but I can tell you in pocket, it's not too heavy. I, I've been carrying it in the office with dress clothes, and I like being able to carry a larger, a little bit larger blade, three and a half inch blade. That's a nice size. I, I like that because that means the knife can flex into a, a lot of different uh, purposes. Uh, it's a great EDC uh, because of the, the, the size weight and the, and the blade shape, uh, but it could flex into a tactical uh, defensive role as well. Uh, one of the things that makes this knife so great is you can see it's very, very thin. Nice flow through design. Haven't disassembled it yet, so I'm, I'm not sure you know, what that would be like, but uh, most of the ZT knives that I've had uh, are very easy to disassemble. They you know, come apart and go back together very easily. Um, I've been, I, this is my third, you know, kind of a keeper ZT that I've, that I've got. So I'm, I'm kind of really, in terms of production knives, really really settling into ZT. Uh, I've actually got another one pre-ordered, uh, the, the 0562, I believe it is, with uh, carbon fiber scales, uh, another 3.5 inch blade, and, and uh, it's an M390. <coughs> uh, on, the, on the titanium lock, lock bar, this does have a, uh, a steel insert. You can see, uh, you know, it's adjustable here, uh, and I believe it's removable via that screw as well. And uh, blade steel is LMAX, and ZT's gotten beat up quite a bit uh, over their heat treat on LMAX. Apparently, a lot of a lot of people have 
done some, you know, quote unquote hard use testing of it and found that uh, uh, ZT's heat treat of LMAX steel was lacking. Uh, I can't really comment one way or another other than to say there is a lot of controversy in the community. Uh, in typical ZT fashion, you know, they've commented a few times that, you know, there's really no basis to it, that the, that uh, uh, it's it's a lot of uh, amateurs who don't know what they're doing, who are doing these testing, and they really stand by their heat treat. Um, the only modification that I've done to this knife out of the box is I have sharpened it uh, on my work sharp, put a nice uh, uh, mirror polish on the edge. Uh, it's probably lost a little bit of the the mirror polish just from from use. I have used it uh, a few times on some boxes and such. Uh, but uh, and you know if you haven't already, please check out my review on the work sharp because that's that's made knife ownership just a joy. Uh, really can't talk enough about that. But uh, anyway, I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to get some video footage of my, uh, you know, factory stock right out of the box uh, ZT0801 because it, I am going to send it and have it done, some, modific uh, some modification done work to it. And uh, I'll record another video and take some more pictures when it's done. And, and again, hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that uh, I'm going to like the modifications uh, because... Uh, uh, you know, that would make it all the more pleasurable to carry this on a, on a daily basis. The only thing that I'm not having to do, because, and mainly because the guy who's doing it is not capable of doing, is I, I would really like the, the stone wash finish on the ZT blade. Uh, I would rather that be a satin finish. Uh, and unfortunately, this individual cannot do that. He doesn't have the, the proper equipment to properly polish that blade. <clears throat> Uh, so not going to have that done, no modification to the blade, and that's that's probably going to be a, a, a sore point with me with the knife because, um, gosh, I wish ZT would figure out that there are more blade finishes than stone wash. Uh, you know, I personally like a satin finish. I understand on a hard use knife that you know a stone wash finish has its value, but you know, to me, this is this is almost a, a gentlemanly folder. You know, you don't see a lot of jimping on this. You don't. You know, the it's just not, you know, what you would envision a, a hard-use, tactical, defensive kind of knife would be. So, you know, I kind of disagree with the stone wash finish. That said, it's not horrible. You know, I can live with it. It's it's fine. Um, you know, I would just pr probably prefer a polish finish there, uh, or satin, satin brush finish. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please do look at the written photo review that's found on Through My Lens. Uh, there's a link in the description box. Uh, again, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. God bless. We will see you in the next video.